Maureen and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to make tiger butter. Inspired by it. And do you know why we're going to make tiger butter? Because we went to Bush Gardens this weekend, that's why. We went to the um, they have the one most wonderful confectionery shops there. And on our way out one night, we went, on the first night, we went to the confectionery shop and we got a piece of tiger butter. Because we saw it in the case and Rick said, I wonder what that is. I said, well, there's only one way to find out. So we got a piece of tiger butter and it was this like peanut butter and vanilla fudge with a chocolate swirl, milk chocolate swirl, and it was really good. So the next day we went back on our last day and we got several pieces of tiger butter fudge and the children commenced to consuming most of it and now we're going to make our own because it's really easy. And this isn't a traditional fudge recipe. In fact, this one is going to be less of a fudgy recipe and more of a um, kind of a almond barky recipe, but it's still going to be soft and delicious. So what I have here, and I'm going to turn my heat back on, I have my bowl set over a pot of simmering water to simulate a double boiler. Well, it is a double boiler, right? But make sure that the water does not touch the bottom of the bowl. Otherwise, you'll end up with a big mess, and nobody wants a big mess because we're spending lots of money on fine ingredients. This is Gir Ghirardelli or Ghirardelli or however the heck you want to say it. It's that chocolate that starts with a G that's from San Francisco, right? So it's got to be good. I've actually personally been to that factory, and it is good. Anyway, we're going to melt two 12-ounce bags of white chocolate chips right here in this bowl and I've pretty much done that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take two cups yes I said two cups this is one small 16 ounce jar of good quality peanut butter you can use smooth you can use chunky whatever is your preference. Chunky would be good. I don't like chunky peanut butter. I know you do. I don't, I don't care for it. And then we're going to mix while it's still over the simmering water. I turned it off a little bit before I started doing the video simply because I didn't want it to get burned. We're going over. Hmm. This smells really good and it's looking really yummy. Mm. Okay, I'm going to turn the heat off. I'm going to move everything over to my counter. Well, I've also melted a 12 ounce bag of milk chocolate chips. I have lined. Where is my spec? I lined a 9 by 13 pan, you can use a, a glass baking dish, whatever you like, um, with uh, two layers of aluminum foil, one of which I put across this way so that later when it comes time to depan this candy, it's going to be a lot easier to do that. I've also sprayed this with uh, cooking oil. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Cool. Give this a shaky shake. It's dripping. Oh, I know. We can't have that. Oh, I, this looks so good. Okay, now what am I going to do? I am going to try and find a, a pastry bag, which I know I have somewhere. Uh, I'm just going to get a Ziploc bag. Bring our pan back, grab a pair of scissors, I'm going to snip the corner off here, and I'm going to just do this.
you may or may not use all of this chocolate. It just depends. I'm going to put enough on here so that I can run my knife through it and it's going to look really cool. And tiger butter is about the peanut butter, really, not about the milk chocolate. Now, I'm going to get a butter knife. Or maybe, I'm sorry, honey. This is a little spreading knife. Hmm? And then we're just going to start dragging one way and then the other way. And then the other way. And the other way. And then you do it this way. And this way. And this way. And so on and so forth. Then, when you've done it that way, you can start doing it diagonally this way. diagonally this way. Can you tell you what's called tiger butter? Hmm? Yeah, because it looks like tiger stripes, sort of. This is more of a swirl, but you know. It's all psychedelic and junk. And if you have a corner that isn't quite, you know, you can just kind of manipulate it with your knife. But I think that looks really good. Mm -hmm. I know you want to do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, now you have two options here. You can allow this to set at room temperature or you can pop it in the fridge for a little while and allow this to set. I would say about a half an hour before you can pull it out and cut it into nice pieces. So we're going to put this in the fridge, we're going to let it set up, and then when we come back we're going to de-pan it and cut it up and show you what it looks like. We'll be back. Our tiger butter is all set and ready to come out of the fridge. So um, this is why you use the aluminum foil. Ta-da! Easy cleanup. And then you can just gently take it off. Thusly. Sometimes the aluminum foil likes to be um, a pain, yeah, sometimes it does. Make sure you get it all off. Nobody wants to bite into a piece of foil. Ew, I can't even imagine hmm. that feeling. All right, I'm going to get my hands off here. This smells fantastic, and it looks fantastic as well. All right. Let's see, I'm going to take my pizza cutter and I'm just going to start cutting. You don't need to make giant pieces because this is going to be uh, really rich. You probably can't see what I'm doing. There you go, on this side. Well, you'll want to store this in an airtight container. I, this time of year, I would probably say store it in the fridge. And it has got a very similar consistency to fudge, even though we didn't really make a, bless you, a fudge recipe. Good thing I turned my head. Well, that would have been all mine. Oh, oh darn, he says. <laughs> the 
can you get the beans? Yes, my beans are heating up. I have some refried beans I'm cooking and they're making a lot of noise. They're singing because they are the musical fruit. In agony? Okay. <laughs> All right. There you have it. Look it. I'm going to show you. Let's see. Get a piece out of the middle because, you know, I always have to have a piece from the middle. There you go. Look. Beautiful. It's so pretty. Mm -hmm. So, there you have it. Tiger butter, really easy and really overall. You could give, I think you give four really nice gifts out of this pan if you so chose. Um, if you're thinking about the holidays or Mother's Day is coming, Father's Day is coming. My daughter's standing behind me, tapping me on the shoulder Shake because she really, really wants a piece. Go ahead. You're going to take the one I cut out of the middle. Tell me how you, what do you think? It tastes like the one from Bush Gardens. It tastes like the one from Bush Gardens. Well, I don't think I can get a better you should call it success. testimony. So, I hope that you try tiger butter. I know that you're going to love it. I mean, how could you not love it? Peanut butter, chocolate, white chocolate. It's going to be delicious. And you're going to love to give it as gifts. And whoever receives it is going to think it's just plain amazing. So, try it. Love it. Thanks so much for stopping by my kitchen today. I'll post a recipe on my website. I'll link that below. And until next time, happy eating.